If you have uneven hooded eyes like me, this tutorial can be helpful. Hi everyone, it's Smita. Welcome back. Sometimes when you have uneven hooded eyes, trying to get the cut crease even on both eyes can be a little tricky. So today I'm going to be testing out the spoon method of cut crease to see if this really is the solution for uneven hooded eyes. So if you're ready, let's begin. Now again, what are hooded eyes? If you look straight in the mirror and you can't see much of your lid space because it's hiding under some extra skin or the hood, then you might have hooded eyes. And because the fold of the hood is resting on the lid, sometimes we have to work around that fold to create a cut crease. And if you closely observe both my eyes, they look quite different because they are uneven as well. So I have uneven hooded eyes. Hooded eyes and uneven hooded eyes are common and normal and I feel like every eye shape is so beautiful. You just have to work around each eye shape to see what complements it the best. Sometimes when you have uneven hooded eyes, measuring out the crease for your cut crease can look a little confusing and tricky because each eye shape is different. So using the spoon method makes it equidistant from the lash line, creating an even cut crease. I'm starting out with filling my brows and I'm using the Precisely My Brow from Benefit and this is in the shade 5. I'm keeping the arch of my brow as high as possible to make enough space below it to create the cut crease. Then using the Milani concealer in the shade 145, I'm going to clean up underneath the brows to make it look really neat. And then I'm also going to use it on my lid as a primer. So I'm going to even out the skin tone all the way from my lid to my brow bone. I'm going to lightly set this with some translucent powder from Lottie London to prevent the concealer from creasing. The first step is to measure out the spoon. When you close your lid and place the spoon over your eye, you should be able to create a crease under your brow. If you cannot, then it's too big. And if there's a spoon that barely covers your lid space, then it's too small. The top part of the spoon should almost touch the socket of your eye. And that is the right spoon for you. From the ColourPop So Jaded palette, I'm going to first dip into Amethrine. Placing the spoon firmly on my lid with the tip touching my inner corner, I'm going to shade the top portion of the spoon with a flat fluffy brush. And then using a blending brush, I'm going to add more eyeshadow and buff this out till I'm happy with the intensity. I'm going all the way from the inner corner to about half the curve of the spoon creating a half cut crease. And then I'm going to repeat the same on the other eye as well. It gets done so quick and as you can see it looks pretty even on both eyes dipping into the same eyeshadow i'm going to use the other end of the spoon to create the outer edge and then with the blending brush i'm going to dip into your a gem and diffuse some of the outer corner towards the center of the lid keep the edge looking sharp I'm going to be using a little bit of translucent powder underneath to clean it up and then I'm going to repeat the same on the other eye and when you place the spoon handle in the outer edge make sure you place it as an extension of your lower lash line to keep it even on both eyes
this is the basic technique you can finish up the way you prefer i'm going to be using diamond all over my lid it's a pressed sparkly glitter so you don't need an adhesive or a base i'm just going directly with a dry brush and applying it all over my lid With another flat fluffy brush, I'm going to smoke out amethrine in my lower lash line. And then using moonstone, I'm going to highlight my brow bones. And then it's time to finish up. So I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. And of course, if you prefer, you can also use false lashes. Here's the completed look, super easy technique on hooded eyes and uneven hooded eyes. It takes off that guessing game of how far your cut crease has to be from your lash line. The spoon decides for you. And with that, it evens out the size of the cut crease on both eyes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you want to watch more hooded eyes tutorials. If you want any information on any of the products that I used today in this tutorial, you'll find that in the description box right below this video, along with my social media links in case you plan to follow me there. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.